Hey guys, uh, so in this session we are going to see how the circuit breaker works and uh, what is the use of circuit breaker. So a circuit breaker basically used for monitoring the API calls. So let's say uh, when you hit an API and if everything is working as expected, then this uh, circuit breaker will be in a closed state. So there is three state in the circuit breaker, closed, error and open. So when you first hit an API and let's say API is working fine, at that time, the circuit breaker will be in the closed state. After some time, when you hit that API again and let's say for any reason, the API, the external API is not responding. For example, let's say uh, it is giving you an error of uh, too many requests or the server down something, then you will define, you will make some changes in your connector configuration so that if that uh, error happens uh, with in a specific uh, window of time then it will go into the error state so in the circuit breaker connector configuration we have these four five things that we need to configure so the first thing is a uh, circuit breaker id another thing is threshold percentage uh, which is uh, basically a error percentage which is uh, being calculated within the time and the time that is used for this uh, error calculation part that is threshold period so in this threshold period we give a second or a minute or a time uh, window in which we are uh, in which we want to calculate the error ratio then we have this open duration and the last one is the error expression so in the circuit breaker we have this closed error and open so for example let's say you are hitting the api and you are getting the error so for example uh, let's assume that you are hitting the api and for the five second you are getting the same error then with the within the five second how many errors how many uh, requests you have made and how many errors got generated based on that the ratio will be calculated of for that particular five second and then the percentage will be uh, in action once whatever the percentage you have defined in your connector configuration if it matches then it will go to the open duration part that is a open state in your circuit breaker so in this open duration part you will specify a time slot for what time this open duration will work so in the open duration ideally we have uh, two route in uh, circuit breaker the first one is the main and the second one is the fall fallback so once the open duration of the open state get activated or enabled then you will get a dummy response dummy response you can say that response that you have already saved in case any uh, scenario like uh, in case uh, you are not getting an actual response then you don't want to uh, give the error response to the client you want to just give a previous response so in that scenario this open duration part will be helpful then we have this circuit breaker configuration file where we need to configure this uh, cluster port host ip address and the member ip address if i show you the diagram that how it uh, works so this is the diagram so the first stage is the closed one when you start your application the ideal state will be closed it means that everyone is everything is working fine once it uh, start getting the error from the api which you are hit, hitting then it will go to the error state so from the error state it can go to again to the closed state if it does not meet the uh, threshold percentage if it meets the threshold percentage then it will go to the open one once it go to the open state here you will get the uh, here you will give the response that you have saved earlier and once the time duration for this open state is finished then it will go to, again to the closed state okay so let's come to the starting yeah so here we uh, are just checking idly see uh, when everything is working as expected they're in closed state when the number of fails like timeout reaches a specified three salt then circuit will stop processing for the request in mule we don't have such functionality so for this we need to have the custom module so 
i have one custom connector i will give you a link a github url from there you can download that one and you can use the maven command to build that connector and then start using it in your project so circuit breaker looks like this here we have one main root and another one is fallback root here i am making a request to the external api okay this is the api that i am hitting and uh, in the transform message i am just giving a message main root and the payload and this is the fallback root so in the fallback one i have this logger in the transform component i am giving a message fallback root a dummy response let's go to the circuit breaker configuration so here we have these five things circuit breaker id so this is app dot name this is nothing just the name of your application then this is the threshold percentage that i have set 100 by default it is 100 you can uh, change it whatever percentage you want then here it is a threshold period so in this uh, threshold period so i have given a time of three seconds if i show you in the data wheel so let's say you have time something like this and yeah i'm subtracting from this so from this 22 i'm just subtracting one second so it is 21 so let's say when you start getting the error so from that from 22 to 23 second if it give a if it give a threshold percentage of 100 then the open state will be open for the 10 second so as i have shown you here this is for one second then another one will be for the 10 second then here in this error part error expression i am checking whether the error i am getting is like having a status code of 404 or not okay 404 means not found so let's uh, run this application so before you uh, before you hit this api you also need to configure this circuit breaker config part so here i have given a member ip address uh, the same one that host ip address i have so you can leave it as a blank and this is the cluster port so that is the default value we have here if you don't configure this circuit breaker you will get an error that will say that uh, has a cast error so you need to have this in your configuration part this global element part so let me show you the console also once it started if you see here in the console you can see it is saying that member size one was on one member this and this has a cast port is created now we are going to hit this api so if i come here if i hit it And if I get a success, okay. So here it is too many entries and status code is 429. So ideally it will not work because in the error expression, see the first it is started at this port, then has a cast instance initialized. Okay. Now we'll come here let's see see the circuit breaker uh, starting when it started the uh, ideal state is close so once it start getting error so here we have this too many request 429 status code but i have configured it but i have configured it to 404 so that's why it is not working so in the same way you can have a multiple status code as well so here i'm giving this error not equal to null let me save it okay so 
now in the if any error came then this part will get executed the fallback one let me run the application Once it is start running, I will clear the console and will trace the log as well. This is this got created. I will hit the API. Let me clear the console and will test it. So if I hit it now, I'm getting error. So I have configured it for the three second. So for the three second, now see here. If I come here. In the logs I'll show you something okay so now when I first hit the API I got an error that uh, too many requests and the status code was 429 so here it is saying error detected and the error counter will be increased and the state changed to error so earlier the current state was closed so error count is one request count is one so I made a request so for the first time so it was one and then we got the error so error count is one okay then here now the ratio part got calculated so ratio is coming one which means the number of requests I have made and the number of error count is equal so that's why we are having the 100% threshold uh, percentage is 100% so ratio is 1 so once it uh, it is 1 or the threshold percentage is 100 it will go in the open state so once it go to the open state it will call the fallback route so here see logger in the fallback route and we are getting the response fallback route a dummy response now see you have the same response and the status code is 200 okay because uh, uh, our new application is working fine now if i hit this api again once this uh, open state is active i have made it i have made the configuration for 10 seconds okay so if i show you here i have configured it for the 10 seconds so for the 10 second this fallback root part will work okay now let's go to the console and once the 10 second interval time is over the circuit will be again in the closed state okay so let me clear the logs and hit the api again so if i hit the api so i am getting success response again success i will wait for the error I will make multiple requests so that I will get too many request error. One, two, and this dummy. So if you see here, how many requests I have made. Let's double click on this. So scroll here. So the request I made so earlier it was in the main node we are getting the success response once the error got detected the error state or uh, the circuit state changed to error so it is saying that the counter will be increased and the state will be changed to error so here error count is one request count is one so now let's come back over here now it is in error state so now it, uh, the ratio part got calculated and we are getting the threshold percentage of 100 so now the circuit will be in the open states so once it go to the open state we'll get a dummy response so let me give you another example for example i am hitting here a invalid api so let's say this is an invalid api we have And in the circuit breaker part 
I am not going to change anything. Instead of 10 second, I can make it uh, one minute as well. So I uh, just replace S with M. So for the three, let's say here, if you replace S with M, it means for the three minutes, if we are getting the error or for three minutes, we are uh, checking if the error is there. And once it reaches the threshold percentage, it will go to the open state. So now we are hitting an invalid URL. Once it's deployed, let me hit it. So I will be getting 404, 1, 2, 3. Oh, it came here. So for within three seconds, I made uh, three requests. So if I open the console and if I come over here, see the status is closed. First, we make a request. So error count was one, request count is one. So first request, we made a one request and we got an error. So count both are one. Then here we made a request, second request, and the count error count got increased too because another time also we got an error. So once the first uh, request or error count is detected, after this task, the status of circuit breaker will change into the error state. After that, here we made third time request and we got the third time error as well. So now this error ratio will come into the action. So let me show you the error ratio part where it get calculated. So current state here, current state is error. So once the ratio is one, then this part get executed. Okay, and after the 10 second, this uh, open state will also get changed to the closed one. And once it go to the closed one, it will remove the counters uh, that were used to count. Okay, so here before making this like this third request, when you made this third request. Uh, when it uh, started analyzing the third one before that the time period got over of the three seconds so it counted on the two of two where two requests were made and two error was there so we get a ratio of one that's why now it shifted to the opened one so in this way uh, we can use the circuit breaker part and we can also store our payload which we get from the here and we can reuse that payload in the fallback route so that uh, let's say when a client hit the api we don't need to uh, wait for the uh, third party api to come into the action let's say for the down time uh, down time is there so till then uh, we can use this fallback route and our api will be have normally and will have the response um, in the next video, I will uh, give, I will try to use the any point time queue and I will give a walkthrough on that also that how can, how the circuit uh, breaker will behave with the any point time queue. And for this custom uh, module or a custom connector for the circuit breaker, I will uh, give the link in the uh, description box.